us a big That's a good one, dude. Ooh. Dude, that's a giant. Give you that. Huge one. I watched him eat that. It's freaking giant, dude. So if you guys watched the last video, you know that the river, the water actually dropped. It's not flooded anymore. We went out yesterday. We actually caught some really big fish. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll drop the link down below. You guys need to go watch it. It's a really good video. But today we're back out on the river. Yesterday we went way up river. Today we're around the middle of the river. I have some spots in mind that I think are going to produce some really big fish today. So we're going to go try, man. We're going to cover a lot of water today. We have an idea on how the fish are biting. We figured them out at the end of the day yesterday. We were only out there for about four hours, but we caught some big fish and we have an idea on what they're doing now. So we're going to go put a hurting on these fish on this late afternoon. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're gonna go ahead and hop into this and uh, just try to catch a massive bag today. So we just got out to the first spot that we're gonna hit today. River's looking so good. It's really nipply outside too. It's like supposed to be 80 degrees. But let me tell you, that cold, you know, when you're driving 60, 70 miles an hour, it'll get you. So I got a bunch of rods rigged up. I actually spooled up two different reels and put them on two brand new rods. Big shout out to Luz for, for hooking me up with those. I appreciate that. Let's look at what we got today. So we got this new Luz custom right here. This is the white one. Very nice on a Mach 2. We actually tied a spinner bait on there. It's a striking spinner bait. We got a Thunder Cricket on this combo. We got a Texas rig on our other Custom Pro. And then we have a brand new Texas rig. I just got the same combo. This is just a brand new one, Custom Pro Mach 2. And then we have a jerk bait on a Smash down there. I don't know if we'll even use that today. But we're gonna go out and uh, just cover a lot of water right now. I'm just excited to have some new line on my reels because I think we're gonna have an opportunity that's a really big one today. So let's go ahead and stop talking, get to fishing. Yesterday, the main bait was a rage crawl. It was in June bug and also black and blue. Those were the bites that we were getting. This is actually an emerald blue. It's very bright. Normally I catch them really good on this in the summer, but I want to give it a shot today. So we're going to start off with this. If we don't have any bites in a little bit, we'll switch over to a black and blue or a June bug. But I kind of wanted to try this out today. Just see if those fish want that more vibrant color. All right, we gonna get it started and catch one on our first cast. Could you guys imagine? I gotta tighten the drag down. I gotta make sure I do that to my other reel. I just took these out of the box. They're like brand spanking new. Oh, look at the boil, dude. I land. That was a freaking tank, dude. That was a freaking tank. We might be able to get him to bite. Oh my God, I landed on his head, dude. That, that was a tank. Holy cow. He actually bit it too. I need to fix my curl. That was a moose, brother. Like that, that was probably a five plus pounder. Unless it was a mud. Dude, I threw up on the bank and I just hit him on the head. He just boiled on it. That's a good sign. That That's a really good, good sign. Dude, that, that was. I like landed right on that fish's head. That was a big boil, dude. He was right there. Yeah, Might have swam him all. Dude, that's a big one. That's a good one, dude. God, is he 
like that. <laughs> First fish today is a chunk. What a chunk on the Rage Crawl Black and Blue. There we go. Look at that fatty. Gosh, look at that thick, fat belly. We actually just saw a wake swim right off where this fish was. It could have been a male and female on bed, and this could have been the male. So we might need to chuck back in there. But uh, that's a pretty fish to start off the day. Just thick and chunky, dude. Get him back in the water. Look at that meatball. Nice. There we go, guys. Got the monkey off her back. We haven't been fishing for too long. Probably about 30 minutes. Got the first fish of today. And I think a really big one swam off that. I cast on the other side and Cody was like, oh, did you see that wake? I look and there's a huge wake and then I cast up there, catch that small one. And by the way he was biting, I mean, they might be on bed right there. I think that big one, I think that was a male, dude. Yeah, yeah I really think that that female probably swam off, dude. And then the male just ate me right there. He was eating it like a dang uh, war mouth. <laughs> yeah, the way he ate it wasn't like how a bass would. Oh, I got him. Yeah. It's not big. <clears throat> nice. Pretty little fish right there. Nothing big. Right there. Pretty little guy. Just thick and chunky. He's not big, but he came up and like boiled at the top when I had him on. I knew he wasn't big, but... Uh, if I wouldn't have like known that this was a small fish, I probably would have thought it was a really big one. It's the way he boiled, but look how fat he is. Straight football. Second fish today. Gotta keep her going. Thank you. That's a big one. It's not a big, big, big one, but it's a dang good one. He's hyper as can be. <sighs> Dude, that is a chunky two pounder. Look at that rage crawl on the top of his mouth. This time I was using June bug. Watch how easy this falls out. Just like that. That is a chunk. That's a two pound fish in a one pound body right there. That's what you call that. We just came back in this like juicy little spot. Got way back up in here and I uh, just found some good looking cypress trees on the left hand side. Just found that beautiful fish right there. Man, that's a football. Gotta love catching them that fat. Nice. How is there not a fish right there, bro? Mm. There he is. Oh, God. Oh, I'm about to jerk the rod out of my hand. They're so aggressive. Fish number four, another chunky guy. These bites are so steady, let me tell you. Like we're not get, catching a ton of fish and they're not like back to back to back. 
But I can tell you, slow and steady wins the race. It's just been like every 30 minutes, every 45 minutes, just get a bite. Man, I'm just, it's so weird because I can't really figure out what these fish are doing. But uh, some of them are biting, some of them aren't. But they're all so thick and chunky. Thank you, bud. Oh, dude, that's a jelly. Dude, that, that's a mud. Are you kidding me? That had me convinced that I had like an eight pounder on. I saw him flash in the water. Get away. Dude, what are you doing? You're crazy. Cracked out. Hold on. You about took the rod. Oh, thank you so much. That was the most kind mud fish I've ever met. You start off a little aggressive, start splashing me with water, then he just shakes the hook right out. Nice. I really think that, I don't think that would have been a small... Gosh, dude. They're up on those knees super shallow. I'm gonna catch this one. He didn't have it all the way. I think there's a bed there. I had to reel this thing as fast as I could to catch up with that fish. That's how yours was running, dude. He ran at the boat. Yeah. Look how stubby that, dude, look at that. That is a freaking chub. <laughs> look how fat he is. Oh, he bit me like so many times, three or four times. Finally got it. <laughs> Little chub. Oh, dude. There's no way, first cast. There's a bass on bed in both these holes. Right where I just casted, there's one on bed. I saw a couple fry popping. We're gonna catch another one real quick. We just pulled up on this bank. Literally first cast out of bite. Is that not crazy? We just pulled up. I had a feeling, dude. That's why you go with your gut right there. That's the quickest I've ever just decided to pull up on the river and <laughs> snag one. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but that looks like it's a bed right there. Right there. Looks like a bed. What is that, dude? I saw the fish. It might be a mud. Huge one. I watched him eat that. It's freaking giant, dude. This is a dinosaur. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> All right, brother. Calm down now. I just sight fished that thing, dude, on the river. What? Oh my God, that might be the, one of the biggest I've caught. Look how big this thing is. Let's see if I can pull him up. Dude, that might be an, oh my God, look how big he is. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was a first and that was a lot of fun. I like threw up on the bank. I could like kind of see, I was like, wow, super clear water for the river. Threw up there and I see something just eat it. And I was like, whoa. Missed him, reeled back in. I, I saw where he kind of slithered off to. Just flipped right in there and wow. 
That was good. That was a lot of fun. Not the species we're looking for, but still a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. All right, we're getting a step closer, dude. Choked on my <coughs> craziest clip I've ever had. Do you see what happened? Yeah, I saw the fish. Was it a bass? That was a four pounder. Oh, I literally skipped up on the coming. tree, dude, and he ate it as it was skipping over his head. And I just went, leaned into him, and he just went, wrapped me around the tree and jumped off. That was a four pound bass. I see his bed, dude. Ah, oh, that was such a cool. Oh, man, I watched that. No, dude, what is going on? That would have been the coolest clip like I've ever had. The skip was just like that. Dude, it was so cool. You couldn't you couldn't have a better clip. And he freaking came off. And he was a big one. These things are huge right now. The way that he thumped my rod, I can't even describe it. God. All right, please don't break me off, buddy. I really need this Texas rig from you. Not really what I want to catch, but sometimes they're a little bit of fun. Not right now, though. I want a big bass. Let me tell you, adrenaline rush, whew, that's crazy. I thought I had a monster. I got no rod room. <laughs> Smack that fish on the thing. Barely had him. Nice chunker to end off the day. Look at that. Just straight footballs. Best way to describe this bass. That was on a Junebug Sanko. Swish it up a little bit. Well guys, we're gonna start heading back to the ramp. I think that's gonna conclude our day. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I hate that we didn't catch any really big ones in today's video, but we had the opportunities, you know, just didn't capitalize. Um, that was a weird situation. I skipped that chatterbait up on that bed and he was taken off to the left around that tree. There was nothing I could have done. And uh, Cody off camera earlier actually hooked one that yeah, it was a nice one, man. It was a good fish. Yeah. It was a good fish. But, hey, we live and we learn, and uh, we'll always be back out here for another video. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you enjoyed it, like I said, hit the like button. Be subscribed to the channel as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video.